Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Multi-Grammy award-winning reggae superstar Ziggy Marley has been facing criticisms on social media over his support for Israel in the war with Hamas. Ziggy, the son of reggae icon Bob Marley, signed an open letter affirming his support to Israel. But many critics believe he has offended the legacy of his father and Rastafarians. Operations at the Central Sorting Office building on South Camp Road in Kingston were disrupted following a fire on Monday morning. No injuries were reported. The fire is suspected to have started at the back of the building and then worked its way inside. A policeman who was accused of soliciting money to release a car from the Spanish Town Police Station in 2008 was today freed after the prosecution offered no evidence. Kevin Murray, who was attached to the St. Catherine North Police Division, made numerous appearances in court before the matter was adjourned in November 2009. Labour Minister Pernell Charles Jr. will be heading to Canada this week to do what his ministry says was a thorough check of the Seasonal Agricultural Workers Programme in which thousands of Jamaicans participate annually. Last year, the government commissioned a fact-finding team to look into the programme, which found that most of the Jamaican workers were satisfied with their working and living conditions. In sports, Reggae Boys head coach Jaime Hall Grimson said beating Canada and qualifying for next year's Copa America and Nations League semi-finals will be critical to their continued development as a team and to their chances of qualifying for a second FIFA World Cup. In your currency trading at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $155.24, the British pound sterling for $191.50, and the Canadian dollar for $115.74. In your weather forecast, Tuesday will be partly cloudy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on X, formerly Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.